Hey guys, what's up? This is Civic Dude. Let's look at a new game today. This is uh, really cool. One that I'm very excited about. It's uh, Magic: The Gathering Arena. So it's a, a new game, um, obviously based on Magic: The Gathering, a digital game for them, taking the paper and bringing it digital. It's different than uh, Magic: on The Gathering Duels and Magic the Gathering Online. Um, duels I didn't like as much because it didn't feel like it had the full rule set. It didn't have all of the cards, for one thing. Um, this one is standard only cards, for now at least. Um, still closed beta, so there's a few things they're still trying to work out and stuff. But uh, at this point, it's been a very fun game to play. So, uh, real quick to show you around, here's the home page. You can do free, free play. Wow, you can do free play uh, real quick here. Um, you can do a couple of organized events over here, constructed draft or a competitive draft. Um, they have a freemium type model where you have the regular um, currency that's the premium currency that you pay actual money for over here in the form of gems. And then they have gold that you can get by doing grindy stuff like playing the game. Um, I'm still trying to figure out if it's if there's a way that you can grind enough such that you can use the gold to get enough gems to make it a viable strategy to not actually have to pay a lot of money to play the game. But uh, for now, we're just going to start playing with uh, some of the decks that they give you uh, to begin with. So when you start out, you get like five or six decks here. Um, this blue-black control deck we are able to get from a daily quest. Oh, that's another thing too, they, uh, they offer daily quests in the game. So. Um, you can actually earn gold, earn booster packs, you know, different things like that. Um, you can also earn these wild cards. So I th what you can do is redeem these wild cards for any card that's available of that rarity. So, Nicol Bolas, here we come. Something like that. Um, the layout screen here is very similar to Magic Online, or Magic the Gathering Online as far as how you're looking at your deck, things like that. Uh, filtering, you can filter through the different types of cards, like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. I could go into a little bit more detail, of course, but uh, I don't want to spend the entire video on that this time around. Profile screen is pretty much just select your avatar. I think for this one, let's go with Nissa. She seems pretty cool. Um, Packs available to open. I have four. We'll probably open all of them in this video just because I want to open packs. I love cracking packs. Um, here's some of the rewards that I was telling you about. So uh, let's see. If you open packs, you will get wild cards. So you can see here on the screen. Um, where is it? Right there. <laughs> Two more packs until your next uncommon wild card. And then over here, five more packs until the next rare, and 17 until the next mythic. Not bad. So, my biggest concern with this one, uh, because there's no trading or anything like that involved, the closest thing to trading, there isn't anything really. And we have the store where you can buy gems, the premium currency, you can buy bundles which are similar to, similar to like a deck builders, but not really. It's just a bunch of booster packs plus some gems. Uh, and then you can buy the packs individually. So, uh, you can't obviously guarantee what uh, card you're going to get. The only way that you can guarantee a card is from these wild cards in your collection. It's the only way to guarantee a card from what I can tell. So, let's jump into a game real quick. We're going to um, look at the Forest Mites deck. Um, really focusing on uh, Galta and uh, Gigantosaurus here. These are two of the finishers. In the deck, they're both amazing uh, cards. I love them. So, and of course, you have a lot of War Elves. Actually, let's see. No, we'll play it just as it is. I haven't modified this deck, um, like, at all. So we're gonna keep it the way it is, just for the sake of the video. And then uh, we can under or we can uh, modify it later if we want to. So we're gonna do free play, as opposed to any of these other ones. And we're gonna select the Forest Might deck and jump into a game. So, I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. Um, myself, uh, we recently moved out way out to the country, so I don't really have 
very many tabletop opportunities anymore, so uh, this is right up my alley of things that I can do and uh, would enjoy doing for sure. So, let's see what we have here. Um, I really dislike this hand because it got one ramp card with Lana War Elves and only one forest, which is not cool. So let's mulligan. I didn't pay attention. I think he goes first, so I think we're on the draw. But I really wanted to see more land than I did. Oh, that Galta. Okay, we'll keep this one. There we go. And we'll keep that forest on top. Oh, we played first. Yeah, definitely did not want to keep one land on the play. <laughs> we got really lucky with the... Uh... Hello. I really like it with that land up top there, actually. So, you'll notice here the gameplay is very fast. So, if there's not something for you to do, you don't have to sit here and wait for the phases to uh, com complete. It'll just skip very quickly. So, it's, it's a very fast-paced game. Which is fantastic, because that's one of, one of the things I don't actually like about Magic the Gathering Online very much is the fact that... Uh, you do have to sit there and go through all the phases. Um, keep pushing the button to go through the phases. I mean, you can obviously yield through the end of turn, but it's a little bit uh, uh, clunky, I think. All right, vigilance or the opposite of menace? Let's do opposite of menace. They need a keyword for this. So menace, obviously, is you cannot be blocked by multiples. This one is you can't be blocked. Menace is you have to be blocked by multiples. This one is you cannot be blocked by multiples. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature, players lose two. Okay, so let's just attack with this one. I don't think he's gonna block it. Yeah, I do think so. Okay, so he's gonna do some life gain. Is this a black white? This isn't like a knight's deck, is it? Count Swagula. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, so up here uh, and down here are the phases of the turn. So let's get Galta out right now. Um, so first over here is, it combines a few of them into one. So up to, untap, upkeep, draw into one. Uh, first main, second main, end up, end and clean up steps, things like that. Alright. So, let's get, we have so many. <laughs> we only have five land that we were able to. That's awesome. Why did he not destroy Galta? That makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. Unless he's got another spell that you can just remove it later. I mean, he's playing black, so I assume that he's going to be able to remove it. Yeah, there you go. And goodbye. Well, <laughs> that was fun while it lasted. Wish I had a way to bring him back from the graveyard, but I do not. Um, Blossoming Defense, I think, would have been good there. Give it Hexproof. Except I had no mana to spend on it anyway, so. Okay, target creature deals damage. Right there, it equals power. Let's do it. Okay, now we can attack with everybody. Swing the team. Down to 12, or 11, back up to 12. This beginning of your end, the permanent control left, create a 1 1 something. Okay. Limit. Now let's just do the all attack. Okay. Instant. Okay. So, yeah, first main phase here. Uh, if you want to add a, a manual stop so it's always going to stop, you just click on the phase and it's going to make sure it stop there for you. You do have to click, I think you can click spacebar as the like accept 
button. So right now we're just gonna click spacebar. Yeah, so spacebar can get you to the next one. Uh, right clicking will bring up a big preview over here, which is good. So I like bringing him in. Give us some card filtering. Look into our deck for something. Maybe put a land onto the battlefield. There's none. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's attack. It's probably going to block the Highland game, but they're not gain two lives, so it's cool. Yeah. Should bring him down to five. And then, uh, Vigilance on this guy is fantastic. It's a pretty good value card, actually, for a two drop. Okay, what is this thing? Flying at the beginning of end step, if you gain life. Okay, yeah, I don't like that. Goodbye. Alright, so he gets another servo, but that's okay. Combat, all attack, he's gonna block the 2-2, two -two, so we're gonna knock him down to 4, or he's just gonna block the 1 and take 2, which is not... I'm not sure why he did that. Oh, maybe so he could just knock out my creature. At the beginning of each upkeep. Okay, so we have a clean board on our side. Nothing to work with, and no creature to use Titanic Growth on. That's kind of annoying. So we'll just have to pass the turn. And see what he can do. Hopefully he swings and then I get something with the... Uh, haste. I don't think I had anything with haste, though. So, no blocks, of course. No damage. My turn. Wrestling boar. Get a forest out there. Go to combat. No attacks. End the turn. Let's see if he tries to do it. Like a minus three, minus three or something. If he has actual removal, then I don't have anything against that, of course. Uh, yeah, so it's just gonna destroy it right away. <laughs> Alright, so combat, attack, in turn. So, again, the gameplay is very fast. Um, I do appreciate that. I don't like that the. Uh, here we go. The deck here is a little bit slow. I mean, it's just a pre made deck, so it's not going to be strong for sure. But uh, maybe he'll. Oh, destroy. oh, he murdered us. Not cool. <laughs> not cool. He's going to get us down to one here. And suddenly, just like that, we have lost. So, we'll play this one out, let him finish us off, and then uh, we'll go get back into another game. I want to show you one more deck, one more of the pre-mades. Concede, come on. We know we're going to lose. All right. Actually, time check. Let's open up a couple packs, and then we'll finish the video that way. Pack, open up. Give me something good. Ooh, Vine Mare. That's a good one. It's one of the best uncommons in the set. Trumpet Blast. <laughs> it's 
no good. Okay, so these are, what, eight cards? Ooh, here we go. This is actually not a bad, not a bad rare. Very cool, Supreme Phantom. I like that. Let's do one more. Okay, anything good? Harpy, not really. And Sun Cleanser. One four for two. Remove all counters. Can't you can't have counters put on it for as long as that's a battlefield target opponent loses all counters. Hmm. Ah, not excited. Alright, well, that is gonna do it for this video. I highly encourage you to download this game. Uh, it's very fun. I think it's still in closed beta, so the process to download it is very easy. You just go to the Wizards website, sign up for the game, and then within a few days they'll reach out to you and uh, let you know that you are able to download it. They give you like an access code that you have to use whenever you log into the game, but the process was super simple. So please go do it, guys. Uh, support Wizards and uh, go play this game. It is very fun. Very fast-paced. All right. See you.